Alexander Graham Archelides, and we are here in Washington State, going up right above Seattle, not just because it's awesome, but because we need to preserve and restore our amazing atmosphere. And we are here with none other than Coco Mini Shark Tank Zero Waste Products with Eliab of Seattle Ballooning and none other than Microsoft's Chief Environmental Officer, Lucas Chapa. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Balloons have been around since 1783. It is the oldest form of aviation. Every day I get to fly in the clean, clean and crisp era here in Washington. Coco Mini, you have a product that is not just sustainable. What are you doing that other people are, are trying to do? Well, we have a zero waste certified company. We basically partner with Mother Nature to put the tap right in the coconut, so no processing, fresh coconut water from the source, and we're up and down the strip in Las Vegas. And uh, you know, being a leader at Microsoft, it seems you're in a position to, to uh, truly help us shift to a regenerative circular economy. Microsoft operates as a carbon neutral company. We have since 2012. And we do that by investing in forest and reforestation projects all around the world. And what I'm super excited about this morning is getting up in the air and looking down at trees, getting a completely different perspective on what we know is going to be one of the largest contributors to solving some of our biggest climate challenges. So as we climb up to the sky here, you can see the gorgeous forests that are cleaning our air, recycling our oxygen. And, and I just got to think about, if we're truly going to talk about a capitalistic society where we have natural capital, these are assets, right? That's right. And we already have assets in the ground, and we need more assets yeah. in the ground. I think that's why protecting the forests that we have and planting forests where we don't have any is a critical contribution to be able to start to reduce overall greenhouse gas emission. Can you explain more why we should consider these trees true assets and put a dollar sign on them? We have to look across the full portfolio of assets that we have that we can put in play in reducing the amount of greenhouse gases that are emitted and removing greenhouse gases that have already been emitted. And so I just naturally take a very portfolio based approach because if you're thinking about managing any particular system and we fundamentally need to better manage our climate system. You need to understand what is where, how much is there, and how fast it's changing. How can big tech companies and startups that are blossoming into leaders in the field lead the policy as well, or is that a disconnect? I love the idea of the carbon tax or the carbon fees and, and incentivize companies and governments to actually go zero waste. It's not impossible that we can make all these really win-win circular models together. When you look at where Microsoft's thinking about the future, we're looking at reducing our carbon emissions 75% by 2030 from a 2013 baseline. What are the biggest challenges, Lucas, and how can we address them? I think one of the biggest challenges is simply understanding the current health of our global natural environment. It's oftentimes, I think, shocking for people to realize just how little we actually do know about Earth's natural environments. Where this entire conversation today comes from is from a few simple laws that none of us came up with, none of us voted on, but which govern every aspect of every minute of our days. The laws of physics and chemistry, which are the most uncompromising laws of all when we look at them through the perspective of climate change. Because what they say is that we must do a lot more than we thought we had to. We have to do it way faster. And the consequences of failure on human societies, economies, and the overall human experience are potentially catastrophic. But the great news is we have all the technology we need. We have the regenerative products. We have, we have the people power. We have you. We can do this. Ladies and gents, we thank you for tuning in to another episode of Reforestation Nation. And uh, as always, subscribe to stay alive. See you next time. We're going to be landing right up over here, folks. Coming, Coming in, in hot. hot. Okay, soft knees. Hold on, little. Go. Hold on. Go. 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 Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to Stay Alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from 7th Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too. Click and subscribe. To stay alive. We'll I think see you they're really going to do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.